Hi guys, welcome to ITPK. Today we are going to dive into a quick demo on YouTube States of Nerds. YouTube State of Nerd feature gives you a behind the scene look at the technical details of the video you are watching. Whether you are a content creator or just a curious viewer, these states can help you understand how videos are delivered and played. Now let's go ahead on YouTube. Uh, I am on uh, my channel on youtube and i want to explore state of nerds for any video from my channel to make it a legal video let's go to uh, my channel and let's find out any video here okay now i am on youtube at one of my video and i want to enable state of nerds for my this video so to enable state of nerds for the video please right click on the screen go to the bottom you will find the option states for nerds when you will enable the state for nerds you will see all these technical detail about the video you can just copy these detail by compressing control plus c from the keyboard and we can just go ahead and paste these detail into a notepad or any other file that we want to keep so we have pasted all these detail in notepad if you could see my screen now as we have pasted all these details into notepad and we have enabled state of nerd and let's see what all these details means the first detail we have there is video id this is a unique identifier for the video it helps youtube track and manage the content for example the video id identified the specific video in the youtube database the second option we have is viewport flash frames this shows the dimension of the video player viewport and the number of frame process for example 1000 1027 multiplied by 542 means the player is 1027 pixel wild and 542 pixel tall. The state also shows how many frames were dropped during the playback, which indicate the performance issues. The next option we have here is current slash optimal res. This indicates the current resolution of the video being played and the optimal resolution for your connection. For example, 256 multiplied by 136 at 30 means the video is currently playing at 256 multiplied by 136 pixel at 30 frames per second, while 640 multiplied by 338 at the rate 30 is the optimal resolution and it could achieve best year on your connection the next option we have is volume slash normalize this shows the current volume level and the normalized volume level the normalized volume of 73 percent means the audio is set 73 percent of its maximum level the drc value indicates how the loudness of content is adjusted the next option we have is codecs this tells you which codecs are being used to encode the video and audio for example vp09 for the video and opus for the audio these codecs affect the quality and compression of the media the next option we have is color this indicates the color space used for the video such as bt709 which is standard for hd video connection speed this measures the speed of your internet connection in kilobytes per second the next option we have is network activity this shows the amount of data being transferred during playback zero kb means no additional data is currently being downloaded buffer health this indicates how much buffered content is available to ensure smooth playback for example 109.2 10s means there are about 109 seconds of video buffer the next option we have is mystery tag this is the technical string that includes various parameters related to playback such as buffering and playback state it can be complex but it's mainly useful for developers and tech savvy users the next option and the last option we have is date this shows the current date and time which can be useful for tracking when the states were 
were recorded. So YouTube's state of nerds offers several advantages that includes promise monitoring, optimization insight, connection awareness, and the audio management. So that's it about today's quick, simple, and to the point tutorial on YouTube state of nerds. We have learned how to enable YouTube state of nerds, what are YouTube state of nerds, and what are the advantages of YouTube state of nerds. So that's it about today's simple tutorial. Let's see finally how to disable state of nerds here. Uh, let's right click here and we can go directly to state for nerds. This will disable. I hope you enjoyed this video. A big thanks from ITPK. Take care. Bye.